I need to figure this out on the case board. But he still got up. The page predicted all of it. It helped me fight him. Oh, oh. He, he just disappeared? What the hell is going on here? We need to figure that out if we're going to do anything about it. Somehow we need to make sense of this. Hey, 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 Alter Interwebs. Welcome to another stream of Alan Wake 2. This is part two of our series of the investigation of going, or what the hell's going on here. As you notice that my first stream, if you're not, I'd say 18 old or 18 years or older, you probably can't watch that stream because I didn't know there was going to be nudity in this game. So on this playthrough, I actually turned the nudity sensor on. So we should be good from now on or stream wise. I don't know. But we'll see from uh, moving forward. But a lot of crazy shit happened so far. Just enjoying the game. But as that dead guy states that we have a lot to figure out. And I'm just really getting sucked into this game. It's just awesome. There is no rational explanation to what we just saw. I'd love to blame this on mass hallucination caused by inhaling volcanic gas. But we both know that's bullshit. This was supernatural. Well, I'm glad you were the one to say it. Now we can figure out a way forward. Hell yeah, we can. Um, I also need to figure out the audio. Um, equalize, equalize their filters to decrease high-pitched sounds like high screeches. Oh, wow. Kind of cool. Should be fine with the interface. Right before things got crazy, Sheriff Breaker just vanished. Maybe the sheriff knew more than he was letting on. Hmm. He seemed anxious, like he dreaded what was coming. One more mystery. The victim of a ritualistic murder turns into a monster. Is there a connection? Looks to me like the cult of the tree is performing rituals to create monsters. Hmm, maybe. We need to start with learning this cult's goal, their purpose. I don't know what their purpose is, but... There's one... Saga was back at Cauldron Lake. Saga had to pursue Nightingale into the overlap. Finding a way in would be difficult. A ritual. Saga would learn how. Stop the monster. Yeah, I don't need to do that right now. Let's uh get the hell out of here. That poor cop. Wait a minute, what? Oh, I need to put the evidence in. A dead man turned into a monster. Light as a way to fight him. Pages predicting the future. There's no rational explanation. This is the case we must solve. Hmm. Oh, should I gotta do all this again? No way. I accidentally got out earlier, so. We'll fly Doesn't through this right. one. Hmm. Good there. That was the song. That's the crazy ass commercial we had. The victim was one of their own. FBI Special Agent Robert Nightingale. Should be good there. Oh, no, no. Got a profile. We haven't done the other cases either. Have we? Here we have. Talk to someone, find evidence. The cult of the tree is behind these murders. This case just became much more complicated. You ain't I'll need to there. start a new file. But it's my first cult case. Exciting. Yeah, yeah, really. Mind blowing stuff. Shit. Zoom out. Um. <clears throat> Hmm. 
The killers are usually the ones performing the ritual, not the detective. Acting out their sick fantasy. They may be trying to get you involved, forcing you into their twisted world. Oh, damn. Can't believe he's kicking that much ass. No. Dude, I can't believe that guy is still rocking. Right, Falls, that's a hell of a map we're able to get to as well. You already did those, right? Oh, nope. Ah, dang it. Went too far. Did we already do We that? found a page in the woods. A story about these events. Alright, did we do all those already? Oh, he's still got more dialogue as well. The page places Nightingale back at Cauldron Lake. Calls him a Taken. We need to head over there, stop him, before anyone else gets hurt. Okay. Whoa. We, we heard gunshots, y'all okay? Did you get spooked by the bodies? Sheriff Breaker disappeared. Nightingale turned into some sort of a monster and there are offices down. You two handle things here. We need to get back to Cauldron Lake immediately. Fuck me. That's terrible. Yep. We'll do what we can, man. Good luck, Chief. But that's crazy, right, Thornton? Nightingale's heart was missing. How could he do anything? Who in the hell knows, dudes? Mm, they're a fine pair. Always is. Let's get the hell out of here. Take it easy. Nightingale and his cult are dangerous. We need to be prepared in case things escalate more than they already have. Can you call it in, Casey? A smart choice, Anderson. God, it hey, just hey, looks hey, amazing out here. here. Yeah. We need backup. The Bright Falls case. Whoever you can spare. ASAP. Think we'll actually find Nightingale at the lake? The pages haven't been wrong yet. We can't assume the person writing these pages isn't playing us. I agree. But it's our best lead. I'm gonna take a quick look oh. around. Meet you back at the car. See you in a bit. That's fine. Oh, shit. What are you doing? Effing weirdo. Alright, so... This calibration. We're at 65. We're still being... I think we're pretty good. Twenty maximum. I'm running way faster than twenty maximum. Did you check out the town, Anderson? Just getting my bearings. Ready to go? Waiting on you. Hard to travel between locations, uh, huh? Rinse and repeat. Clock out. Get a beer. Hell yeah. I need to come clean, Anderson. I know why Nightingale was here 13 years ago. He was chasing a writer, Alan Wake. Tammy mentioned him. She's writing a book on his disappearance. You know the detective character from his books, Alex Casey. Yeah, I've heard the jokes at the office. Cold case Casey, murder case Casey, <laughs> sorry. That's him. Ha ha. It's the same name, similar job. It's the first thing anyone thinks of. It annoyed me, but that was it. Then, ten years ago, I started getting strange letters in the mail. Fragments of prose describing murders. Pictures of Alan Wake's You've butt talks. You've heard the stories about what happened in New York. Xerox. Some of it, at least. Bodies started to pile up. It was a murder cult. Turns out the fragments sent to me were from the crime books of Alan Wake. The cult was copycatting the murders from the books. 
In their heads, they were performing a ritual to bring Wake back. Their imagined prophet. After that case, I started looking into Wake's disappearance on the side. And you thought this case might be connected to him? His name does keep popping up. I just wanted you to have all the facts. Next time, give them to me before we find ourselves in the middle of a horror story. No, 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 no. It doesn't make it exciting then when you do that. Plus your chance of uh, you getting boned. Where's the fun in that? The page says Nightingale's in something called an overlap. It says no motorcycle drink. need to figure drink. out exactly what that means. I'm happy I'm not in charge of this mess. Thanks. Let's start Thanks. looking for Nightingale where he was killed. Great. This area is supposed to be close to the public. Hmm. We'll be riding this badass mamma jamma all the way out here. That and there's a van out here, right? Or is that U.S. government? Official use only. Yeah, it's government plates, right? Well, how long has this damn van been here? Might be parking a tree branch. Cool that my gun can actually. The writer get. of these pages knows what will happen because they're behind this. Or because they can see what's coming. Impossible things are happening here. A world operating on different rules. I need to understand this strange logic. To see the clues. To solve the case. Well, that's a beautiful sunset, I guess. You know, shit's about to get freaky when uh, the sun's going down. I've been thinking more about the cult of the tree. What sort of cult refers to themselves as a cult? In my experience, they don't. We're not seeing the full picture yet. What are we doing out here, maintenance crews? Hey, hello there. How are you folks doing? Those mm -hmm. restricted area signs don't do a damn thing. Hello, Saga Anderson. Are you two supposed to be here? I'm Il Mokoskela. Fantastic to meet you. And yes, Stephen here hired me to show him through the woods. He's in town on important government business. Fixing this impressive piece of hardware. I work for the FBC, ma'am. I'm authorized to be here. And I bet you two are here about that murder. Nasty stuff. How's it going? Mm, How did you be hear about the murder, Elmo? Do you know anything that could help us? People tend to tell me things. The Koskala brothers are kind of a household name around here. Speaking of, uh, if you're looking for some fun, stop by Watery. Just down the road from Bright Falls, there's our Coffee World Amusement Park. There's Sauna, Sauna de Vista. <laughs> I've never heard and of you guys. We offer a variety of guided tours, hunting, fishing, hiking, whatever strikes your fancy. And I've been all you over Bright Falls. probably got it. Huh. What is this thing? It's just a monitoring station, ma'am. The Federal Bureau of Control checks volcanic activity and air toxicity levels. No need to worry, though. It's mostly for research purposes. That's one gorgeous wetter saga. <laughs> Looks Nordic. I bet a family member made it. Um, I don't know. Are you trying to mac on her, or what are you doing? Stephen, we're investigating a murder that occurred nearby. What can you tell me about your bureau? Nothing that isn't classified, I'm afraid. But I don't know anything about a murder. The operations here are run by a different department. I'm just here to make some repairs. The wiring on this thing frays every couple months. Yep, that's the raccoons. They grow real big here with teeth like you wouldn't believe. Can not run through a garbage can. Mm-hmm. So what the hell are you doing with that thing? Looks like he's got a spoon or something. My mother made this sweater for me. How do you know? 
I knew it. My mom used to knit those sweaters for me and my brother. Watery, my hometown, was founded by Finnish immigrants. So between your name and the sweater, I figured your family might be from Finland too. Suomi, Finland. Ulla, Karjalan <laughs> Klaus, my mom's family is from Sweden originally. I don't know much about them beyond that. The sweater is just something to remember her by. That's all for now. Yeah? What the hell's he doing with this? What's this? What's your sweater, Steven? Uh, nothing. Just something that shouldn't be here. Raccoons my ass. What'd you do? Find anything good? All right, I'll leave you two idiots to it, I suppose. Let's get to the murder site, Casey. A lot of things about this case keep bothering me. But one thing feels really off. Breaker's disappearance. I don't get the feeling Nightingale was responsible. Hmm. He was about to give you more of those pages. Something didn't want us to have them? Or was protecting him from Nightingale? Spontaneous combustion? I don't know. I... Not the kind of disappearance we normally solve. Are you telling me? Our crime scene's drowning. I never minded rain. Feels like home. No sign of Nightingale. But the page did place him at Cauldron Lake, in an overlap. So how do we follow him there? Maybe something around here will tell us. Maybe. We've seen this symbol before. Hmm. Could I? Well, yeah, I have that medallion thing, but... Oh. Well, should I check the general store again one more time? Is that the store? Yeah, see, he came over this way, right? Got to be a reason there's this in here. Yeah, something. Something weird's gonna happen in here, eh? No, you leave that gun out. They're definitely staying in the store. Guaranteed those assholes are out here. Does she go into a dead sprint here soon? Or cause that's not much of a run. Bare feet. Nightingale. I'll see where these footprints lead. Can you come through the crime scene one more time, KC? Just in case. On it. After we if find Nightingale, what then? I've never arrested a monster. I've watched you arrest plenty of monsters, Anderson. You know what I mean. Monster monsters. Light worked against him at the morgue. That might be the only way to stop him from hurting anyone else. Hmm. Monsters? Overlaps? Rituals? What do you make of all of this? Hmm. The killers are usually the ones performing the ritual, not the detective. Acting out their sick fantasy. They may be trying to get you involved, forcing you into their twisted world. But with dead men coming alive, the word ritual starts to have more weight behind it. 
We need to look around. Learn what this ritual is. Alright, looks like this asshole probably went this way. Or leave my flashlight out. Hopefully it doesn't die. I don't see my flashlights. Well, she's got batteries. I don't know. Handgun. It's a bandage battery pack for charging flashlight. Hmm. Oh, I didn't even know you could do that. We can do that. Um, quick slot this. Quick slot that. Take some of them pills, I guess. What the hell? Someone's sleeping out here in the old teepee, huh? Not good. <coughs> that asshole could be anywhere. What is that? Seems like it's reacting to the light. What is what? Is it on the ground? I don't know what she's... Not sure what she's talking about, but... This is creepy as shit. For sure. Yeah, so. Little Tenaruski. Punch box, right? Or tackle box. Hmm. Rice down just in case it happens again, I forget. Then again, it hit me and suddenly a fortune the trailer I got in the car drove and chasing it starry night. Led me past Bright Falls, Cauldron Lake, and I tried to find the right spot, right emotion. Hmm. UFOs. Wouldn't that paper be getting wet? Here, just for you. Wasn't that nice? Hey, Casey. What's the forest's favorite shape? Please, Anderson. Just one case without the rent. A triangle. I don't get it. Yes, you do. I'm not sure where the hell we're going, so. Is there a quick turnaround? There is not. Walking around in a big ass circle out here in the woods, or? Wait a minute, I think I nip. Oh! Okay. We'll try out here then. He's over there, I just gotta make sure I remember where I'm at. Oh yeah, those assholes are out here for sure. I hear something in there. Oh, yeah. All right, you cultist fucks. 
I'm coming in there after you. Hmm, cover up the tarps. Well, I better pet the deer while I'm here. I feel bad for these guys. I'm petting the deer in the dark, so. There's a triangle. Hmm. I don't trust these assholes. I'll check the bedroom in a minute. Symbols. I hear him. What up, I? How are you? All right. How long you been in here? You getting spooked out? This is nuts. The cult this bastard's right here for sure. They say Lake Caldria, something formed an eruption volcano. Beneath the calm. First draw the water line. Engineering strange machines. Hmm. Yeah, I just got in all ready for the spooks. Yeah. Bastards could bust out anywhere at any time. This window. Anywhere. I mean, I found all these symbols, but I'm not sure exactly what they mean. I hear him out there. Nobody in here, though. There's different paths up in these areas, right? I'm getting flashbacks. Remember Ohio? Sure. The North Side Slasher. But that case was completely different. The trees, Anderson. He hid the bodies in the forest. Hmm. Research laboratory, huh? Nice talking to you, too. Anybody else there? Hmm. I guess there's nobody else there. So there's that, I guess. Just walking around in the old dark here. No, this is the crime scene here. Where did Casey go? Oh, there he is. Find anything, dude? He's hanging down on the water? Alright, what do we got going on here? Oh, she writes stuff in here. So this is the murder site. Witch sign. Watery. What's this? Points of interest. Okay. No, that's where I was last time. I picked that up. I was already there. What the hell is this? That's the station. So this must be where... Yep, we walked down from there. It looks like there's a little campsite down here. Maybe? got to use your map skills a little bit more in this one. I'm pretty sure. Can I use... No, don't do that. No upgrade yet. So I should go straight into the left. All this path. Okay, 
Okay, so that, oh, damn it, don't do that. That's the campsite. Hmm. Points of interest. Wait a minute, oh, he's just in there, right? There's tracks. And where the hell are the campers at, those people? Like some of them blew down their shit. Said something was gleaming into the woods. So she came, we came down off this ledge. We went down here. And then something react to it. I don't see shit down here, do you guys? I mean, this is scary enough as it is. You're around, running around in the woods while it's raining. Screw that shit. The only good thing that's coming of this is that I'm able to, uh, you know, pinpoint um, my area, like know where I'm going. So that's the witch sign. Can't go any further than that. I was just in here, right? That's the general store. Yep, those are your points of interest, right? I'll knock some shit over. Can I knock that over? I bet you some asshole comes out of this door. It's locked. It's creepy in here gotta be someone that comes out of there. Can I blow that shit up? The gas cans? So this has got to be it past here. Because they normally don't have that light unless something's going to happen. There's another lunchbox. Yes, indeed. Remember, it's not a bad day, not a bad life. If you're having a good day, ignore the whole thing. Fair enough. I mean, it's not bad advice. Although my ass is getting soaked out here. And the sun didn't go down at least. Where else would he be? Down this path? You gotta be somewhere out here. Right? There's the phone booth. There's a path back up the hill. I've checked all over these hills. There's got to be a path that I'm not checking. That's the witch's hut. Did we see the witch's hut? I don't think I've ever seen the witch's hut. Alright, the stairs. Can we go in here? Hello? Grandma, are you home? Is this grandma's hunting shack? Hey, uh, Logan's oh, shit! Is coming up. <coughs> I... I need toy ideas. 
toys. Toys. <laughs> She's 14, KC. Okay. So, what do I get her? Get her a book. Something weird and dark. Maybe that'll get her back into reading. Weird and dark, huh? I don't think I was ever over here, was I? Mitch told me today that her family's moving away. This sucks. I haven't even told her that I liked her yet. What's the point anymore? She that her parents want to get better jobs and get her in a better school in big city. Who wants to stay in bright fucking falls? <laughs> so I told her, she said, thanks. Fucking kill me. It snuck out last night. Again, when the big house. But like, instead of watching it just from here, like I always do, I said, sitting around. Like I always do, screw that. Oh, screw that. <clears throat> anyway, something weird is going down here. I think I'll find out what. I'm going to go back here tomorrow with better gear. Hmm. It's going to be epic. Anything else I can use in here? Another one of those lunch boxes. They're everywhere. What's this one? Some things can get a little crazy around here, but if you're feeling scared, just remember that Alan is watching over us. Is he? Is he watching over us? Well, huh? Who would know that? All right, so we track that path. Nothing there. A little creepy. Ain't gonna lie. <sighs> Alan Wake Two. This time with more Alan. <laughs> I don't know if that's the case yet, Morgan. I haven't seen much of Alan Wake lately. The tracks lead into the water. Oh shit! Where did he go from here? I think we found him. Well, prepared to get jacked up. <laughs> oh shit! I Jesus, Criminelli! A presence. That scared the living hell out of me. Nightingale isn't far. Less Alan, I want my money back on your account. <laughs> I mean, he's there. There's just different plane um, sections. Dude, what is this? No, you don't need that yet. How do you put that away? Oh. Huh. How do you put away shit? Hold on a second. Actions, interact, flashlight, inventory, reload, interact, dodge, sprint. Weird that you have to go into that, but. Was that him? In the water? Nice. Lights off. Blending with the native shadow monsters. Yeah, just like hanging out here in the dark. I think he's right there bobbing around. He's gonna pop out of the damn water. You know, choke me out, probably. He's out here, dude. He's gonna come out of the water and fucking take me out. For sure. He's out here, I just don't know where. Probably underneath the water.
All right, come on, you naked ass bastard. Oh shit, I remember where I'm at here, eh? You gonna show up over here? This in Florida? <laughs> oh lord. Wasted a bullet, damn it. These aren't the same tracks that were here before. They're headed into the tree, not out of it. I don't know if we should go in there. My flashlight burned the dark stuff away. The fuse was in place. Saga stepped into the witch's hut. Nope, 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 nope. <laughs> Inside, a bright light. There were objects that stood out to Saga, as if the light had manifested them. The witch's hut. Okay. I trust the pages to lead me to the overlap. We're going down. He's going to come busting up out of here for sure. I ain't stupid. I know better. Son of a bitch. It's crazy. You know, come get my ass. Rickster! What up, Rickers? Damn, we went the wrong way, dudes. Where's that naked asshole? Uh-oh. Oh, shit. Is he up there? Where the hell is Alex Casey at? This is the witch's hut. Oh god, can you hear him? I think he's in there. Anderson. Thought I saw something in the woods. Probably just a deer, but I'm gonna check it out. Okay. Don't get fucked. I found another page. Following up on a lead. Keep checking in. Roger. Page described the hut being lit and mentioned a fuse. Hmm. Is that a fuse? Hut being lit. One of the candles? This place is already lit. As in party wise. Where the hell's the fuse? Back here, is it? Is it up above me? What do you guys see? Anything good? Let's see nothing here. Nothing there. Do I turn out my light? Nope, not doing that shit. Do I have to shoot a candle? Or I think there's something there, right? Is it back behind here? Nope, she's just flapping around. Hmm. Let's see what we got going on here. Let's do some investigating, shall we? What do we got? Um, cult, right? Damn, come on, guy. Don't belong there either. Or there. Come on, man. Nope. That's not right. Uh, oh, wait. Right here, right here, right here. Symbols. Altis. The fuse was in place. She found it among the junk in the forest. Saga stepped inside the witch's hut. Something rushed through her. A presence. Familiar. 
She couldn't quite place it, something long forgotten. Hmm. She tried to hold on to it, but it was already gone. Inside, a bright light. Saga felt safe, like nothing could hurt her here. There were objects that stood out to Saga as if the light had manifested them, pulled them from the darkness. A shift in reality, heavy with hidden meanings. A coffee thermos, a shoebox, a mop and a bucket, a poster on the wall, and in the cabinet, another manuscript page. What the hell? All right, if you say so. I know Nightingale is somewhere around Cauldron Lake. The tree was a threshold. This place and the dark place. <laughs> You're in over your head. Next stop, Caldera Street Station. The threshold, like a doorway, leading to Nightingale. It's somehow connected to a tree, which is ladle. The witch is ladle, huh? Okay. Well, none of this shit is lighting up, so... Gotta be something else. Where's the witch's ladle at? Ah, down there. But you can't get there, right? Hmm, is there another path? Outside the hut? I think so. Oh, you do run out of power on batteries. Wow. I don't want that naked bastard coming out of the trees and strangling the shit out of me, so I gotta figure this out. Which is hut. Which is ladle. Where the hell is that at? No, I don't, Rickers. Yeah, get out of here <laughs> with that. Yeah, bum. All right. Okay, so we gotta go this way. To be which is a little ladle. Wait, isn't that where I was? Wasn't I just here? Okay, yeah, so this is the witch's ladle. Alright, now I know where I'm at. Okay, go back up this way. And get to the witch's hut back up here. Some shit showed up. Alright, there's nothing over here. Oh, damn, don't do that. Wait. There's power to this the place? fuse box is missing a fuse. I need to find one to turn on the lights. Hmm. In the immediate area, locate a fuse, okay. Where the hell am I gonna locate a fuse at besides the general store? Running through the woods, having a good time. Do, 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 Cause we're all gonna die. All right, go to the light, right? Yes. Is there a fuse in here? Gotta be something is safe. Sleeping bag, somebody bumming around in here. See, so yeah, some dude comes out of there, I guarantee it. It's the only place with a fuse, right? I don't see any fuse boxes on the walls, do you guys? 
Oh, they have fire extinguishers. Washers and dryers. Wait a minute, is that a fuse? There's the fuse. Is it behind this place? Rickers. I can't even get behind this place, right? Got power because of the the damn light. Does the light give me power? It does not. Yeah. Yeah, you can't even get back there. Okay, so. Damn. Alright, where is... Let's see. The bend of the witch's ladle. Talk to her ass. Find a page. Holy shit, we went through town, right? Alright, so we should be back to Cauldron Lake. Hold on a second, guys. Let me figure out what the hell I'm missing here. Yeah. Hold on, wait a minute. Where's the fuse box? Oh, you know what? I bet I know where it is. Okay. By that damn campsite. Where's that at? Should be here. Oh my God. Way the hell over there, right? Yeah. See, I don't think anybody comes out and gets me yet, but I bet you this shit's gonna get buck wild here in a minute. Once they start finding shit, which is down this way. Okay, seen him. The campsite should be down this way. Yep, you're gonna die, <laughs> Rick says. I am not. Actually, I probably am. Because, I mean, this game is pretty damn amazing graphically. So, I'm probably gonna goof this shit up. Okay, so, there's a lunch box. Here's a camp. Where the hell's the other camp? What did I do wrong here? Where... Shit. Where's that other camp? Is that it? That's not it. Use box. Oh, damn. It was way over there. It was next to the damn hut. Cheers. It'll be fine, Rickers. It is scary as shit running through here, though. I ain't gonna lie. Okay, you don't want to go that way. You want to go this way. Now they know the whole layout of the area, which is nice. I've been running around it like a dumbass for a little while. Okay, so that's the ladle. But we can go this way. Go to the hut, which is right on the corner here somewhere. Right here. I won't be so damn lost when something's chasing me through here, you know what I mean? I familiarize myself with the place. This fuse is busted. Yeah, but there's one over here, I think. What the hell is that sound? This one looks good. People should really stop littering, though. Littering? The guy's probably just hanging out. Look back here. Oh, it's lunchbox.
So you can manually save? Nice. And you can quick save. So you save at the thermoses. I don't know if I'd eat that damn food though. I don't even know what that is. Another page. So let's close Making this progress. Up. The image of the witch in the sign. Saga addressed the witch. The smudged line on the heart. The second part recited from memory. I brought you the heart, witch. Show me the terror. Saga pushed the heart through the hole in the sign. Okay. So what the hell's the heart? There's nothing in here, right? Because you'd have to pick up something, right? Entering the overlap, right? Okay. While we're here, we're safe, right? Now we go in between the cases. We'll add the lunch boxes. Why not? Another one there. Another one there. So we got cauldron light. I already took care of all this. Oh damn! Just is busting around. You get clues as you go, right? Which is ladle. Towering over Saga, watching her and the witch. The image of the witch in the sign. Nightingale's heart, a cold, dead lump in her hand. Her definition of sanity had changed since she arrived in this town. But she trusted the pages. Was forced to. Saga addressed the witch. She squinted to read the first part of the ritual words. The smudged line on the heart. The second part recited from memory. The words she had read on the page. I brought you the heart, witch. Show me the terror. Saga pushed the heart through the hole in the sign. This was the key. The tree was the threshold. Okay, so... Obviously, we gotta jam something through that sign with the witch's heart, right? Which is... kind of whatever. The two goals track. Everything else in the cases? What else is he? Oh, we got another... The page from the witch's hut seems to be describing some kind of ritual. Okay, so we got those, right? Nightingale's heart disappeared from the morgue. Where is it now? That's what I want to know. Where the hell is it now? Is that not where that goes? To get into the overlap, I need to find Nightingale's heart. Read the line imprinted on it, plus the line on the page to the witch's ladle sign. Then push the heart through the hole in the sign. Okay. Well, that's fantastic and all, but... What else we got going on? I need Nightingale's heart to get to the overlap. Where is it? The cultist leaned close. He was there, but he was risen. Nightingale was there. The opposite of sunspots. Who said that? That's not it. I don't have what I need to find Nightingale's heart. There must be more. All right. Nightingale's heart. Where is it? Meanwhile, they played cards in the general store. The witch had stolen his heart. Get out of my house. Nightingale's heart is at the general store. In oh, a man. 
pulled you in that locked door a bit. I need to check the general store for the heart. Casey, I'm headed to the general store. I think I know how to get into the overlap. Roger that. I followed some of ATV tracks in the woods and got a bit turned around. Did you get lost? I've only been lost once in my life, Anderson. The years I spent with my ex-wife. I'll find my way back, don't you worry about it. Oh man, shit's blowing around now. Shit's rattling around in there, hear it? Somebody's doing some wacky shit in here. Damn, the door's open. What do we do? What do we do? What do we do? Christ! Oh shit! Is that a deer? Is that a deer in there? Oh damn! What do we do? To burn him? Oh shit! A cultist. A monster. What the hell just happened? The solution has to be in here. Damn, we lit him up. I blew out his leg. Holy shit, he's still moving. Damn, I fucked him up. Like his ribs are coming out of there. Gross. Saying good night and good luck. All right. Good night, I. I'm not going to be on here much longer, but I'm going to save where I can. But have a good night. What's up with that fucking deer guy, huh? What was that? You know, extra slots or something? Damn, I wish I knew what the lock was. Cause that would be effing sweet. If you find there, you can get the expansion for that, right? Small note that provides it. What's it say? Um, what's that say? Check with Lady Fortuna at the counter. Okay. Behind the counter. Okay, we'll do that. I don't touch that heart until I get. Something going on here. Is this the counter? Hey, what's this? Oh shit. It could be either one of these codes, really. Alright, um there's a lot of ticket. Five thirteen. Don't forget update code. Seventeen oh five. Alright, um, See what we got going on over here. Oh uh, shit! How do we do? Oh, this cool. It zooms in. Oh fuck. Um. Seven oh five, seven thirteen, seven seventeen, seven twenty-three. Right. All common is seven numbers. So the number seven in the very first part, right? Um. Bingo.
Now shit's about to get real. Alright, so we should probably move that to a quick slot as well, right? Then we'll move this to a quick slot. Probably down here. See, it's cool how it does that. Oh, it's already got its shells. Okay. The text on the heart is clearer now. Legible. So is that what we do for that, or? No, that's words on the heart. Sounds literary, but what does it mean? Meanwhile, they played cards in the general store. Hmm. The witch. Saga edged toward the broken door, her gun ready, flashlight aimed ahead. Nightingale said it would be here. The Cauldron Lake General Store was overgrown, left to rot. Saga thought about the cult of the tree. They had been here, waiting, planning a gruesome ritual murder. Meanwhile, they played cards in the general store, like it was just another late-night poker game. Saga stepped closer to the door. Had the animal broken it? There was a loud crash. Saga found herself face to face with a cultist, a hulking figure in a raincoat. We watch in the night, wild eyes behind a plastic deer mask, an axe in his raised hand. Damn, he sounds intense. Can't profile anymore, so I assume that I go to the ladle? I feel like I recognize this. The fridge. The heart. I knew it would be here. Like I saw it in a dream. Oh yeah? And now I need to give the heart to the witch. Makes total sense. Oh damn, it uses the whole deal, no matter what. Casey, there are cultists in the area. They're taken, like Nightingale. Watch yourself out there. Yeah, thanks for the heads up. I'm still finding my way back. You have the worst sense of direction. <laughs> Any city in America I can get through drunk and blindfolded. It's these damn trees. Okay. Okay. I'm on... It's these damn trees. Wow. This case just keeps getting weirder. But it is exciting. You know, there's no joke there. Are we getting there? Is that the ladle? Yeah. Now there's a light on over here. Why is there a light here and how is it still operational? I have to go save at the witch's hut real quick. Or shit gets too crazy. Oh shit, I don't even know how to do that. Oh, there it is. We'll save them in twos. All right, my dudes. This is going to be a short stream anyway. We may have to come back to this one.
But we'll get there. Tonight gave me a night, a long night, because I got a... Monday comes rolling quickly. So, but anyways, Rickers and Morgan, I know I already left, but I'm glad you guys stopped in. I think we're going to call it good, man. And everybody else that came in, ooh, it's so good. I love me some Alan Wake. For sure. Um, it's getting getting real good. So, Rickers, if you missed the first stream, go back and check that out. Uh, FYI, Monday's every day for Rick. Sorry, buddy. Uh, FYI, there is some nakedness in that stream because there's a... I guess there's a nudity sensor in this game. The dudes that are running around are nude and like swinging left and right here. So if you're gonna watch that first stream, <laughs> I'd be prepared for that one. I did label it, uh, not on Twitch though. I just labeled it as nudity warning, warning but on YouTube it's uh, 18 plus, just in case. This one, uh, well you talked me out of it. <laughs> I don't, no, it's not that bad. It's not that bad. It's just mostly <laughs> the one dude's ass crack and other stuff. So, yeah, there's that. But anyways, if you want to check out the beginning of me in this one, uh, you can go ahead and watch that one. So anyways, <laughs> as per usual, my dudes, I upload videos all the time on Midwest Plays. If you're watching on YouTube, please give a like, comment, and subscribe wherever you can. Proves that, uh, you know, goes to show that you guys enjoy the stuff that I upload and the streams that I do stream. So if you guys are enjoying Alan Wake 2, or if you haven't seen the original Alan Wake, or at least the remastered one, I did stream it uh, recently. So I have that whole playlist on YouTube as well under the live tab or under the playlist. You'll find it, Alan Wake Remastered. You can check that out before you watch the rest of this one. If not, oh, that's cool that her jacket flaps in the wind. That's awesome. Um... But yeah, you guys can check that out if you'd like it. If you're watching on Twitch, it's up for seven days, and then it does disappear. And for my first stream, thankfully, it, it'll it'll disappear. <laughs> Just for Rick. <laughs> Other than that, my dudes, you guys take care of yourselves. Uh, Halloween's in a couple of days, so get out there and get that candy, huh? A little trick-or-treat in action. Watch some Halloween specials and Five Nights at Freddy's. Nah, that's pretty popular right now, so take care of yourselves. We'll see you in the next one. Peace out, my dudes.